so today we're going to review how to draw atoms. And um, we've looked at this page before. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to do Aikman for every single drawing that we're going to do. And that helps us find the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. Um, and so first of all, let's go ahead and do Aikman. We're gonna do an example of fluorine. So for fluorine, I've got the atomic number is nine and it's got a mass of 18.998. So if I do Aikman, A is equal to P, B is equal to E. So my atomic number is right here. So my atomic number is nine. So if my atomic number is nine, I know I have nine protons and nine electrons. Okay, in the next part, we're going to figure out the number of neutrons. We do M minus A equals N. Here is my mass, and it's always going to be in decimal form. We want to round that. So if this first number right here after the decimal is 5 or higher, we're going to round up. If it is 0 to 4, we're going to round down. This particular number, we're rounding up. So 18.998 will become 19. A is the atomic number, so 19 minus 9 equals 10. So I have 10 neutrons, 9 protons, and 9 electrons. So going back to that other page, we see that the next rule tells us that protons and neutrons go inside of the nucleus. So when I draw that, I draw my nucleus, and I'm just going to put P is equal to 9, and N is equal to 10. So the next thing we're going to look at is our electrons, and electrons follow certain rules. The first string can only hold two electrons. So if I go back to my drawing, I'm going to put two electrons, I need 9, I'm going to put two on this very first string, okay? The next ring, the second ring, can hold eight electrons. I'm not going to need all eight of them, though, so I need to make sure that I count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After I finish putting my electrons around, I want to go back and I want to count them to make sure that I have them correct. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know that I have nine electrons on my model. Okay, so pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and do another example. Um, okay, this time we're going to do phosphorus. So my element box for phosphorus, it has an atomic number of 15. And it has a mass of 30.974. So the first thing I do is Aikman. I've got A is equal to P is equal to E. My atomic number is right here. It is 15. So if my atomic number is 15, I have 15 protons and 15 electrons. And now I will do M minus A equals N. My mass, remember I'm going to round. This number right here tells me to round up. So mass is 31 minus 15 equals 16. Okay, so I have 16 neutrons, 15 electrons, and 15 protons. Protons and neutrons are going to go inside the nucleus. My first ring can hold two electrons, so one, two. My second ring can hold up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I currently have 10 electrons, so if I need 15, I know that I have to have
have a third ring, and I need five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay? If you need additional practice on this, please see your teacher.